Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is going to be a reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please remember to take what resonates and don't manifest the rest. So this is going to be about people that you're dealing with on the outside of you, Pisces. It will also be about you, of course. Disappointment, sadness, Grief. Oh. So this person's upset. We know they've lost you because of their lying, cheating, stealing, breadcrumbing ass ways. All right? And I'm just going to put it to you like that. Poor thing. They wanted to bring balance to a situation, but they, they came in way the wrong way. They were offering you chump change. Because that was their wish, not yours. Ah. Somebody tried to alienate you here, or tried to make you feel like you didn't matter. Mm. Wrong answer these days. Sorry, guys. But Pisces is on it. Your challenge here, Pisces, is to see the breadcrumb and to see the lies, to see the bullshit. Because through it, you will you will get what you want. What's in the most recent past, Spirit? What's in the most recent past? Ten of Pentacles. Your legacy. I feel like you're building it, Pisces. You're remembering past lives. You're letting go of what you can't control anymore. During Leo season, you might deal with the uh, Capricorn, Leo, and Cancer here. I got the Devil, the Strength, and the Chariot with the Four of Cups, which is letting go in this deck and the Moon. You let go of all the outcomes. You let go of everything. You may have even let go of some sort of addiction or obsession. And because you did... Now it's like you can't see what's coming. There's a choice that you need to make. I'm getting past life energy here. I don't know what that means yet, but I'm getting like this was from a past life. This is not from this time here because this is what you've got around you and it's your challenge. To see through the lies, to see through the illusions of whatever somebody is trying to portray to you. And I do feel like this person, whoever this person is, it's really disappointed that they're not able to trick you. They're doing everything they can. Everything they can to try to trick you. And it's not working. So they're upset. Poor thing. You get over it. I promise. Yeah. Here we go. Bitches. Bitches be tripping on my Pisces. So. They think this is fair. Whatever this uh, news is that you're about to get. You earned this, Pisces. Whatever whatever this is, you manifested it. You earned it. Do not let somebody come in and take it away, take it away from you. Okay? Virgo Gemini energy. Do not let somebody come in and try to take this away from you because they're going to try, Pisces. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you got going on here. Um I can give you a heads up on, on on something I just found out that might help you on my cash app. 
and on my PayPal. Okay, I just went through all my uh, expenses and things like that. Uh, and I looked, there were three devices, three, attached to my PayPal, ClickBank, and to my Cash App. So somebody's been milking me for a while. All right. This is what you got to see, Pisces. I feel like somebody is is using your money to try to entrap you in some way. They're they're taking your money and then they're trying to use it to snare you. This could be an inheritance that you were that you were owed and that you didn't know existed. This is a lot of money. And somebody has been like skimming off the top of it, taking money from you, and now they're gonna try to win you over with that same money. People are dumb. If anybody out there's got a Gemini moon, you already know it's Mercury retrograde. Bitches be stupid. I I, I call Mercury retrograde a, a country song being played played backwards. You get your dog back. You get your house back. You, you get your truck back. But it's all bullshit. Just so you can go and have to go through the same motions over again. This is a lesson that does not need to be learned again, Pisces. You found out the truth. And that is what you're standing in. That is what you're not you're not putting up with anybody's bullshit anymore Pisces I feel like this is you pouring this cup on somebody's head it's like bitch I see you I see you because I am standing in my ultimate truth despite what I've been through despite what I've had to let go of bitch Ooh, that's making me mad. Immediate future is Taurus energy, the Hierophant. A betrayal coming back around again to see if you're still stupid. No, 1010, it's over. Spirit's on your side. Spirit's letting you see things before they come back around. So you can understand that how deep this actually went. This betrayal and this burden this went deep Pisces and I feel like with the Hierophant and the High Priestess you are seeing everything now from a much broader and higher perspective what is the factors affecting the situation spirit what is the factors affecting the situation I feel like you're standing up looking at it from above. Two of Swords. This person's like super confused, doesn't know how you were able to transform your path into a new beginning, leaving what no longer serves you behind, dead to you, so you can have a new beginning. Scorpio energy, dead to you, Taurus, Pisces, what was that thing that I posted the other day, if I care I'll never leave, but if I leave I don't care. And somebody's wondering why. You're like, how can you just, how can you just walk away? How can you just, uh, and, and 
Pisces be like, bitch. <laughs> I love you guys. My baby shark. <laughs> you done got bit by a shark here. Because <laughs> you tried to pull that shit on Pisces. <laughs> They're watching you get yours, Pisces. And they don't like it. They don't like it one bit. They big mad. Big mad. But you put them to shame. That's why they're mad. Not because they have any claim to you whatsoever, but you put them to shame. And and, and Pisces, you're not even like that. So, um... <laughs> This is where this person's at. Just being, they're, they're having to just watch you. Because there's nothing else they can do. They've already done it all. It's kind of like, like, like I was talking to my spiritualist the other day. And she's like, she's like, you got a lot of people after you, you know, like people on your channel and things like that. And, and, and. You know, I know you're fighting a battle in your sleep, and I can do this, and I can help you here and here for X amount of dollars, and, you know, um, I think that's beautiful and all to have backup, but when somebody makes it a priority, there's usually a reason. Um, but I'm a warrior, so if you bring it to my door, or in my dreams, or wherever you're going to bring it. Understand how strong I am before you do that. You don't understand I've beaten death, homelessness, drug addiction. I've beaten it all. What you got? What you got? Yeah, been there, already did that. Like I said, the big mad Pisces. Your hope is to win this battle with your ma magic tricks. And now I'm I'm seeing like a kind of Harry Potter energy here, guys. I don't know what that means. I got a desk coming. I'm on the floor till then. But, um, I'm feeling Harry Potter energy here. Where, where you trained for this for lifetimes and now you Harry Potter. And this is whatever his name is. Voldemort. <laughs> I love you, Pisces. This is Voldemort and all his cohorts. All right, so let, let's put it in that term. <laughs> and they're being mad because you escape and you just escape all this. You, you see, they, they they didn't realize that, you know, Pisces, Pisces might be soft, but they're slippery. They're very slippery. Whatever this is that's coming towards you, though, Pisces was yours. Ten of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. It was always yours. And nobody and no thing can stop that. God won't let them. God's going to show you before it happens. Hanged man and the nine of wands. He, God's going to show you how they tried to hurt you. And you're still standing there in your warrior gear going... Yeah, bitches. You might have knocked me down, but you didn't knock me out. You might have held me up for a minute, but you didn't. You didn't beat me. I'm stronger than that. I'm more balanced than that. Gemini energy again. Hermit. Virgo, Sagittarius, 
I feel like you've got a lot of haters, Pisces. And somebody who's desperately in love with you. I feel like you might have walked away from somebody here too. And went back to your hottie hole. So you can transform a situation. And and I feel like this is, I feel like you don't want anything to do with anybody showing right now. I mean, five of pentacles to the ace of wands, I feel like you don't want anything to do with a relationship right now or or a situationship that will cause more harm than good in your eyes. I mean, you're looking at it like it, it could be a real challenge. I got my Sufi back. Um, for you to have to deal with all these energies. And there are a lot of a lot of people here, Pisces, like I said. I'm battling people on my channel. I'm battling people in my 3D world. But you know what? I don't live there anymore. So you're you're fighting whoever you are, you fighting a losing battle and about to get bit by the shark. Or piranha. If we all hang together. There you go. Holding on to what you got, Pisces. Four of Pentacles. Somebody else is trying to keep this from you. Somebody from your past. Somebody who's a liar. Eight of Swords. Somebody who wanted to get you stuck. It was their wish to get you stuck. The Moon. Family. Ten of Cups. Empress. High Priestess and the Empress. Yeah, somebody knew what you were capable of here, Pisces. And they try to get away with something by holding on to something that belonged to you. Seven of Swords, Six of Cups, and the Four of Pentacles. Trying to get away with something that belongs to you. People make me mad. But remember, Pisces, people don't rob empty houses. That's just not how this works. Who is this person that's disappointed because Pisces get Pisces is getting what's fair to them? Who is this person? This page of wands. Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Cups. Pisces found their power, seven, seven, and the High Priestess. Eight of Cups, Pisces walked away from the Three of Cups and showed up for themselves. Okay, you could be dealing with somebody who has magical abilities, Pisces. So you might be fighting these people in the ether fighting them in your dream time. Because with the High Priestess coming out here again with the Empress and the Eight of Cups to the Seven of Cups, you walked away. Walked away from an illusion and having... Okay, so... What I'm feeling is like you were supposed to make a choice here because you earned it, reaping what you sown, and you didn't make that choice. You said, fuck you, I ain't making no choice. How you like that? I don't have to make a choice. I can do whatever the hell I want. <laughs> And there they are again, Pisces. Jealousy, hatred, competition. I mean, this is ridiculous. Five of Swords, Five of Wands to the Seven of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles. Oh, Pisces, they hate you. Hold on a second, guys. I gotta answer the door.
Sorry, guys. I have to answer the door here because I don't have a gate. So, <clears throat> so uh, I mean, if I don't grab the stuff that it comes, then it might disappear. Just put it that way. Okay, where was I? Oh. oh, yeah, sorry. Lots of disruptions in your sleep, in your life. It's because a lot of people are trying to keep you off balance and keep you out of whack. Did you lose? Did you lose? Pisces wins. Hierophant, six of wands. God says no. Whoever you are, God says no. Bitches. Okay, this is this is that competition enemy clever look over your shoulder type energy. Pisces don't have to look over the shoulder because God's got them. And that makes them very happy and makes them feel like a winner. No matter what anybody else tries to portray as, you know, Pisces ass. Because I do feel like this is, there's rumors being spread, gossip, people trying to lie on your name, lie on, on everything that you've built. You've humiliated them just by being yourself and walking away from bullshit. They're trying to hang on to whatever inheritance or whatever this is that you've got coming. And I'm not sure what that is, but it, it seems like it would be a lot of money. And they don't want they don't want to give it to you. They want to hold on to it. All will be revealed soon, Pisces. I'm getting Leo season is very significant. So eight eight. Very significant. And there's the Nine of Swords, the Nine of Cups, the Ten of Cups, the Moon, Ace of Cups, Two of Cups. This is all in the immediate future. Wow, just wow. So you might be worried about something happening because it is happening, Pisces. It's happening. Love of a lifetime. Something you earned, something that you thought you were going to miss out on because of all the fuckery going on in your life. Here comes the offer. Somebody coming in. And there's the sun. Wow. Emperor, Empress, and the High Priest. No way. Y'all watch me do this. Emperor, Empress, High Priestess, and the Page of Wands. Message coming in. Yeah, baby, transformation time into balance from the devil. The devil. Give the devil his due. Better fiddle gold against your soul because I think I'm better than you. And the boy said, my name's Johnny and it might be a sin, but I'll take your bet you're going to regret because I'm the best it's ever been, bitches. So you can, you can sit there right in your chair right there and let me show you how it's done. <laughs> Sorry, I got carried away with that one. Oh, wow. Let me sit down in that chair right there. Let me show you how it's done. Factors affecting the situation is the three of cups, the star, and the fool. <laughs> I'm taking my... New beginning, and I'm 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 gonna shine like a star. You are my shining star. Don't you go away, yeah, baby. <laughs> I'm 
mean, I used to skate to that song when I was a teenager, so that tells you how old that song is. <laughs> yeah, when I go to the skating rink, you know, like when I was a kid kid, and that would be like the couple skate song. <laughs> you might be able to relate to that. Maybe that's the two of cups. Okay, so the magician's here. They tried everything they could, Pisces, to make your life a living hell. Make your life a living hell. But you alchemized that shit. You turned into the magician. And they running scared now. And I feel like they're watching you do this, Pisces. Oh, is she like... Somebody's watching me. They're watching you grow up in your power. There's the page of swords. Oh, somebody's about to send you a message. Could be a king of pentacles. But emperor and empress is here too. So there's a there's a perfect match here. You could even be a grandma or or you know, I feel I feel like with this two of cups here and the and the one earlier, this, this is more like growing old together. Like, I don't want to grow old with somebody. I want to be a big kid with somebody. Ooh. Oh, the shtick. You get your choice of shticks, whether you're male or female. Um, but I can tell you right now, somebody sent a shtick in to test you. To test you. Got a king and queen of wands here. These people could be in the limelight, but they, they sent a shtick in to play you. Because you're over here going la 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 on your swing, and we were swinging. No, you're on you're on the swing and and you're enjoying the world even even if the world doesn't seem too happy right now or great you're still taking this brand new beginning to another level that is your choice and then you've got this king and queen of wands in the middle of it this is a whole damn couple pisces watching you manifest your perfect life in a world that is in chaos but you're not bothered by it you're not bothered at all Gemini Virgo energy again wow alrighty then so the hope here is that you will hear from this person. This is a creative project, Pisces, that you're hoping that's going to pay off. Okay, so we got the world, the Six of Cups, something coming back around, justice, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Hermit again. So you're manifesting from a place of solitude. And you're getting your justice. Manifesting from a place of solitude. Also, I think whoever this person... And I don't know why I'm getting past life here, Pisces. But that's what I'm getting. I'm not getting... You might not even know this person with all this moon energy. Um, the world is coming back around. To bring you justice, Pisces, and the wheel of fortune. Because you stuck to your path. You are winning. You are winning in some creative way. You're winning. And somebody's in love with you and they're going to come tell you, Pisces, you just don't see it yet. If this is for, you know, or this is your significant other that's worried about losing you, which could be, you know, take it as it resonates. I don't have a significant other, so I, I do read a lot of my readings from a, from a single 
I don't have I don't have any lovers. I don't have any, you know, significant others. So it's just me. So I read it kind of from a single point of view. But you can take it how it resonates with you. This is a happy ending coming in your immediate future, Pisces. Because you chose to be the star in your life. Eight of Pentacles and Temperance. You are balanced. In a world of chaos, you come out the star. Because you put the work in. You definitely put the work in here. Sagittarius energy again with Aquarius. I didn't even notice that. Here's the Wheel of Fortune. Look, look. Look, look at those two uh, energies. This is the Eight of Pentacles and this is the Wheel of Fortune. He's dancing back here in the Eight of Pentacles and now he's here. No way. I like that. I like it a lot. And all these things that these people tried to do to knock you off balance, to keep you in fight or flight mode, didn't work. You lose. You lose. Bitches. You lose. Because, Pisces, you didn't let it. You didn't let it. You didn't let it rock you. You didn't let it screw up your vibe. You kept going. And I think you should still keep going. Because if you're not at the star energy, the healing energy, uh, and you're still in the Knight of Wands, you still got a little work to do. Okay? But it is happening. And it's happening fast. We've got a main male here. We also have somebody who holds you in high regard. Pisces, I feel like they're about to lose their job or, or because they're they're not paying attention to what they're doing here. Whoever this person is, they're they're paying more attention to what you're doing than what they're doing. And it's going to cost them. I got 1 2 2 5 Three two two five. Three two three four. And I feel like somebody. Now this is not going to be for everybody. This is going to be for some people. I feel like somebody just got released from a contract because the child turned eighteen. Like I said, that that's for some people, not everybody. I feel like another another way to read this is that somebody is worried about having to take care of their child because they no longer have support from a from an empress or a uh, privileged lady. They no longer have support from them. It could be a boss, and now they have to slave away to take care of a child. This child's about to turn 18. And somebody lost their job because of it. Because of what, whatever this energy is. But Pisces, you are very true to your path. And that is why you're being held in high regard here. But somebody's definitely worried about something else, their job, their uh, stability, because of a child. And like I said, perhaps they're going to lose some, some support, some income or something, because this child is about to turn 18. Don't know what that is, but I do feel like there's three people here, Pisces. 
There's three people here, Pisces. Definitely. Somebody who's manifesting you as much as you're manifesting them. This is a magician. So I feel like this person is, is trying to manifest you into their life, whether you've seen them, been with them or not. They see you. I'm, I'm feeling the kingdom thing, kingdom energy here, and I don't even believe in that. I don't believe in, in, in twin flames. So I don't believe that, that you need another person to complete you. I believe you are whole all by yourself. So, but I'm feeling like kingdom energy where somebody has laid claim to you, Pisces. And um, it's like, it's like they won't let anybody else come near you because they have laid claim to you. This is an intense reading, guys. We do have a third party interference. And whoever this person is, they're dealing and they're dealing with the narc empath paradigm. And if you don't want a stalker running around popping your tires because their person likes you more, I would stay out of this because I do feel like that is a possible scenario that might come along, okay? So we got seduction, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, third party interference. Need time, takes time, end time, cycles need to heal. Empath, nar narcissist paradigm, being charmed and or used, enable and boundaries. Be careful with this Pisces because it could affect your stability You are going to grow from it, though. Sudden change, shocking news, surprise, upheaval, and transformation. So you're no longer allowing this third-party interference, this narcissist that thinks that they own you or that they own what you have. You're no longer allowing that in your life, and that is going to create growth and stability you're both mirroring each other right now. Whoever this person is that's watching you, Pisces, they're seeing things crystal clear now. They're seeing the truth. There's, there, there's force behind this. There's honor behind this. And this person wants to protect you. It's, it's like I said, they may, they may have chased you away for your own protection. Because they're, they're dealing with lots of nasty people. But they are in love with you. And they may have just found out that a child doesn't belong to them. Or the child's about to turn 18 and they're going to be free from any kind of responsibilities. And now this third party knows about you. And wants to do magic on your life and, and mess with you. Throw people in your path to try to knock you out the way before this other person comes in. But right now, you are mirroring each other with your self-image. Relationships reflect our wounds. So this person is dealing with the same thing that you've dealt with over and over and over again. Pisces, just don't let them bring their baggage with them. Don't let them bring their narcissist karmic ex with them. Because, like I said, unless you want to end up with pop tires and things like that. Because this person, they can't let it go. They can't let it go, Pisces. They're trying to hold on to everything that belongs to you, including a new love. Like I said, it is something that I feel like is meant to be. But maybe not just now. Maybe not now. Alright? I would give it a couple of months before you uh, engage. Okay. 
So, this is what they were trying to harm. Wow. The Divine Feminine's confidence. And Pisces went, bitch. <laughs> when you ain't got no ego, that's a losing battle. Or you got very little left of one. Like I said, been through it all. Pretty much, y'all. I, I killed off my own ego by the experiences that I had. And that's okay. Because... Even though I'm small, I got a lot of roar. That is the Divine Feminine. Or the Empress. It's time to stop playing small and claim your place within the circle of light, Pisces. Divine Feminine is the smallest dragon I haven't yet encountered. She appeared near the time of summer solstice. And her counterpart is Hermie. Who symbolizes... The Divine Masculine. Wow, so this just happened. This person just woke up to the fact that you're their Divine Counterpart. Ah, I think you're both waking up to that. She's here to co connect you to your Divine Feminine Energy. She told me, You possess everything you need for your existence here on Earth. All you need to do is accept and understand it. When we begin to realize what well, we no longer have to look outside ourselves for answers or approval or feel the need for possessions, we can begin honoring ourselves as spirit, spiritual human beings. We are exactly who we need to be and where we need to be at any moment. Divine Feminine brings a sense of acceptance when we find ourselves at crossroads and assures us that we have infinite resources to see us through. Often she appears around the solstices or equinoxes or the times when we are coming into a completion of a cycle. She guides us to keep our faith and stay true to ourselves, following our inner guidance during transitional times. Although Divine Feminine is the smallest of all dragons, she carries an immense power, and this is her message to you. It matters not how small you may feel on the inside. In truth, you are more powerful than you could ever begin to imagine. This power is deep within you, and you know intuitively what is required of you. It's time to stop playing small and claim your place within the circle of light so that you shine. Others are drawn to you like a sunrise on a summer solstice morning. So own it. It is yours. Own it without fear or ego, but with acceptance and grace. She allows us for the first time to acknowledge and touch the feeling, touch a feeling of personal power, for she encourages deep trust in the divine, which settles itself comfortably into our being. Wow, pretty intense message there, Pisces. And then we have confidence. Because this is telling you to fully step into your power, Pisces, despite anybody else's opinions or, you know, whatever the case may be. I feel like that, that same way the opinions are like assholes, everybody got one, they're all full of crap. <laughs> yeah, you're not, you're not letting anybody, anybody step on you anymore, Pisces. And they, that makes them unhappy. Poor things. I gotta find this. Where is this? I'm 60. There it is. Alright. So let's read this one and then that will be your reading. Okay. Trust yourself, your inner wisdom, and your intuition. Call upon this dragon when your confidence has taken a knock, or when you feel like you're unable to trust your own judgment. He gives you the hope and courage you need to carry on. He encourages you to dig deep and take the next step. He will be beside you all the way. 
supporting you as you go. He has beautiful dragon energy you can call upon in times of personal crisis and need. Co confidence is an awesome dragon to work with. But be warned, he can also be forthright. He says, you can't sit there wallowing in self-pity. You have a job to do, so get on with it. He continues, you have many talents to draw upon and use. Yes, you have taken a few knocks and bruises along the way, but that is life. Your infinite abilities are yet to be explored and uncovered. Your task now is to trust yourself, your inner wisdom, and your intuition. Follow your feelings and listen to your inner guidance. This might well be scary, and you will be talk taking yourself out of your comfort zone. But playing safe doesn't aid your personal growth or spiritual growth. If you have no idea what course of action to take, ask for guidance. But remember, he is not in any way soft or fluffy. No soft or fluffy here. This is all hardcore. He will tell or show you what you need to do, what you need to know bluntly and put things in your path that you need to understand. Look for the lessons and from there you will begin to develop exponentially, both spiritually and personally. You will find your way under his compassionate guidance. Part of what confidence teaches us is that we are responsible for our own experience how painful or joyous however painful or joyous we need to learn to live love forgive heal and move on he is probably one of the toughest dragons i have ever encountered yes he is also gentle and caring tough love is what it's called although he's straight talking he does have huge compassion for us human doings. Bear that in mind if you get a telling off from him, dragon style. Yeah. Pisces, you about to meet your match. Be ready for this. Take it as constructive criticism, not, do not let it affect your confidence, okay? It's constructive criticism, even if it's tough love, all right? This is trying to tell you what's next and what you got to move towards, which is clarity, truth, in the American way. <laughs> all right, guys, well, those are your messages. We'll be going live here in about a half an hour. It is 10 o'clock. I'm going to do a live at 10.30 today and at 3 o'clock. So you can show up to both. You can show up to one. I'm trying to make up for Wednesday. You know, y'all know I had to move. Um, if you'd like a personal reading, my information is in the box below. And please like, subscribe, and share. And I see you guys in a little while. Love you, baby sharks. Bye for now.